a glittering occasion. It is the final, but only one side can emerge victorious. Who's it going to be? Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action for you live next. Hello and welcome. This is a stadium that really resonates with every Australian football fan. We're in Sydney at Stadium Australia. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And it's decision day here at the 2023 World Cup. The final stands before us. It's Spain against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the lineup for Spain. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. The England first 11. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. And so the battle commences. Mariona. Lucy Bronze. Alessia Russo. Hemp. Now the pass not finding its target. Alba Redondo. A really intense pressure applied. Good technique displayed. And still trying to get the shot off. And a fine stop. Corner kick played in, and clearing us away. Spot on with that tackle. Daly. Alessia Russo. Oh, lovely weighted ball, they might be in. Corner given. And played short. That will do very nicely indeed. The first goal in the final. You've got to drink in these moments.
Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Jenny. Abeyera. Could be troublesome. Crossing possibilities. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, but there's defensive diligence for you when things look dangerous. Ella Toon. Lauren Hemp. Super tackle, and they've won possession. And the attack looks promising. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. this once more on the back of that very important equaliser 1-1 Russo Hemp and with that the attack fizzles out plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce oh it's there for her to propel them into the lead, just what they wanted. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So, action underway again, and the onus is certainly on England to find a reply now. Kelly, and England pushing forward with options available. But nothing comes of it, good defending it was. Lauren Hemp. Classic example of how to intercept. Bronze. Can they take advantage? So England behind and looking for inspiration from this corner. And taken short. Ella Toon. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And back underway here, with England looking to find a route back into the game. Oh, 
and unable to pick out a teammate and that'll be a throw well possibilities in the centre and no joy as far as the cross was concerned Well, can they be creative from here? Must be! And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent, one and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. goal. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Alex Greenwood. Soon. Lauren Hemp. Chance to cross. And lining it up. No nonsense clearance. So a half an hour remaining. Determined defending. Hem. Ella Toon. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Alexia Puteas. Mariona. And Hermoso. Promising sequence. And the goal staring her in the face. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then she's so calm in the finish. Cool as you like to round the keeper and slots it away nicely. That's a good goal. restart the game it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge Chloe Kelly she's made a really important challenge an alert piece of defending Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. The current scoreline, 4-2. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. A chance maybe from the wide position. 
And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Out of play, England throw in coming up. Well, they have been getting three substitutes warmed up, and by the look of it, all three are coming on. Hemp. Neve Charles. Ella Toon. Good looking sequence. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Not able to put it behind for what will be a corner here. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not the best clearance. Well, they survived the attack. Now can they counter clinically? An important interception. The danger not over. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. <laughs> Playing it in. Well, no problems defensively. Soon. And the final whistle is sounded. 2023 is Spain's year here at the World Cup. Well, I think you'll agree, Derek. It's been a great tournament and we've got worthy winners. These are great scenes at the end of the game. Eliminated at the round of 16 stage four years ago. But here down under, Spain have done it. And now the Spanish players will receive the trophy, Stuart. Well, at the start of the tournament, this is what they were hoping for. And now it's become a reality. Great scenes. Spain, the winners of the World Cup. And fully merited, they've been the best team here in the Antipodes. And these celebrations will go on for quite some while now. These players have been excellent. So have the fans, so has the coaching staff. What an achievement from this side.